Hello, my name is Joe, and we're going to have a quick look at what the difference is between event begin play and event tick. If you find this helpful, please like, subscribe, and hit that bell for more videos. And don't forget to check out my website, 3dassetlibrary.com, for Unreal and Unity Engine assets. So you can see here, we often when we open up our blueprints, um, you'll get these these two here, which is event begin play and event tick. Now, what we'll do is uh, I'll just close this, and we'll just go to our content browser, right click blueprint class actor and we'll just give it a name say event tick and we'll drag that into our scene here so if we double open, click um, this and then go to event graph um, you'll get this now there's three here and um, this one's if you know if the player overlaps with um, uh, if the actor overlaps with uh, this blueprint trigger this but what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of that so often you'll start see these two and wonder what they're used for now what this is is essentially is that event begin play triggers on when the uh, we play our game. So, for instance, you could trigger a cinematic or you could trigger an explosion, but this only happens once. So it's um, yeah, that's the best way to explain. It, it only happens once. Now the event tick is um, will con constantly run as your game's going. Um, so what what will happen is if say you had an explosion and you had this running, you can have the explosion going exploding then a pause for two seconds and exploding and again a pause for two seconds exploding etc um, but generally it's not good practice to be using the event tick on unnecessary things um, because it can have a, a I believe it's tied to your frames per second so it can have a huge imp uh, impact on your frames per second and um, because obviously what this is doing is rather than um, I guess focusing on your game it's focusing on trying to make it reach this tick all the time so it's, it's just constantly going to, 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 to trying to feed the information that's in this over and over again so um, uh best way to I guess to explain this is that if you look at say a frames per second counter um that's essentially what that uh, tick's doing is it's trying to constantly update this so you can imagine if you had some huge code um uh, node uh, workflow here it can cause a huge performance um, increase depending on what you're doing um, so a quick example of this is if we go to drag off event begin play and type print and then I'll just type in there hello event begin now I'll save that and then when what happens is we, when we go to our viewport window and press play you'll see up in the corner here we'll get this little message that says hello event begin so as you can see there, it only appears once. Um, so that's triggered once. You know, that's it's, it's all we need. And um, so now what we'll do is we'll drag this down and we'll plug that into the tick and we'll go hello, tick. And you'll see the difference here. That when we save that and press play, you can see here it's constantly just writing ticks to the screen and um, you can see here it's sort of fighting with the frames per second but um, uh, obviously it's not, it's not a big enough impact on the, on the scene. So yeah that gives you a quick um, look at the difference between event tick and event uh, begin play. As I say generally I think it's good practice where you can to use the begin play and um, uh, to, to avoid to use these for special circumstances within your, your game or your um, film or whatever. So yeah hopefully that helped. Cheers!